The lawyer who led the defense of Proposition 8 now says his attitudes are evolving as he plans his own daughter's lesbian wedding. Michigan officials are trying to invalidate hundreds of couples' marriage licenses, but now those couples are fighting back. And a judge in Ohio has issued one of the most strongly worded rejections of a marriage ban to date. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for April 21st, 2014. For decades, Charles Cooper has been one of the country's leading legal opponents of marriage equality, and now he's planning his daughter's lesbian wedding. We last saw Cooper defending Prop 8 at the U.S. Supreme Court, and his history with marriage bans goes back even further to the 1990s when he argued against the freedom to marry in Hawaii. But now Cooper's stepdaughter, Ashley Linger, is marrying her fiancé, Casey Cole, this coming June. Cooper supports her and says that his attitude on marriage equality is evolving. He also indicated that the Prop 8 plaintiffs, Sandy and Chris, are an inspiration to his family. The revelation comes from Joe Becker's new book, Forcing the Spring, a behind-the-scenes look at the Prop 8 litigation. Married couples in Michigan are fighting to keep their marriages. The couples wed a few weeks ago after a court overturned the state's marriage ban, but before the court halted the marriages pending appeal a few hours later. Now Michigan is refusing to recognize those marriages, and in response, eight couples have filed suit against the state. There's been another victory in Ohio. Judge Timothy Black has ruled that four couples who sued the state can now get married. But until the case has exhausted its appeals, no other couples than those four can wed. But Black's ruling was emphatic. He stated that Ohio's marriage ban is, quote, staggeringly devoid of any legitimate justification for the state's ongoing arbitrary discrimination. A federal court in Oklahoma overturned that state's marriage ban a few months ago. Last week, the Tenth Circuit heard oral arguments in an appeal of that ruling. We likely have a uh, ruling in that case and in a similar case in Utah sometime this summer. And a judge in Arkansas announced that he'll likely issue a ruling in a marriage case there two weeks from now. In Oregon, Judge Michael J. McShane will hear oral arguments on Wednesday of this week. The outcome of that case will determine whether the state will move ahead with a ballot measure to overturn the state's marriage ban. A new study from the Williams Institute indicates that marriage equality would generate $47 million for Oregon over the next few years. Those are the headlines. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay up to date on all those stories. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.